Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. I'm going to be continuing this uh, quest of Bewildering Fate. Uh, not much else to say uh, other than... Oh, look at this. Got a piece of mail. Speaking of which... Okay, I'll just claim all. Uh, let me see. I'm also going to check out the wishes just to see if I can make another. Because this is going to be ending uh, in a couple of days here. Uh, yeah, I can make one right now. May as well take advantage of that. Really? Just another weapon. Okay. Uh, during this, there is one thing I want to say is after I do this first part here, I'm actually going to jump right into this last commission. I already did all three other commissions, so I just wanted to jump into that. I'm also going to have to do uh, some of the stuff with the original resin, too. But uh, I, I think I already know what I'm going to do with that. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. Uh, I can't tell fortunes. I guess... Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young, female, Knight of Favonius. Yeah, Jean. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? Oh, or Lisa. Oh boy, we're in trouble. We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. Uh, th that's all? <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Well, Lisa may actually play along. Wow, it's you, Mr. Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too. You're back. Uh, Klee? That's her. The successor to great knowledge. You mean Klee? Successor? Okay, things may actually uh, get even worse. I don't know. That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? No, never mind. It's definitely not Klee. It's gotta be Lisa. Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. Uh, we're getting nowhere fast. Or, see, I said this was a mistake. So yeah, so this is but my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. Oh, boy. Ugh, my readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Uh, whatever she imparted to her, it was certainly not safe for a child to learn. She's making bombs. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well... Klee's so young, so even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? So I realized I was completely wrong about it being Lisa. I mean... Obviously, it's clear at this point, but still. Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Uh. Mm, not this one. Mm, hmm. Or this one. 
No, no, it's not this one either. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. Uh, it's a bomb again, isn't it? Wait for me. I'll be right back. Nah, I don't think we're going to let you go running off on your own. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. I'm not terribly worried about it. I'll talk to her again. That box is really important to me. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Oh yeah. So before I go... <laughs> Yay, I was able to get a couple of them. As horrible as that might sound to some people. Okay. I need to go to the... to that over there, where it's telling me to go. Mondstadt welcomes you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh, I gotta go over here for two reasons. One, to talk to that guy, which... Is kind of ironic because I'm also going to be using the crafting table. I'll have to use the crafting uh, table first. It really is fascinating. I'm going to use it to can make one of these. Uh, let me see how many of those I have. Hopefully, okay, I have one now. I'll worry about what to do with the rest of them a little bit later. Hi there, are you also interested in alchemy? Uh, I want to find out more about alchemy. The ancient art of alchemy is simply captivating. <clears throat> I wish more people appreciate it. Uh, oh, you're into alchemy too? Very much so. Well then, boy. Uh, it's time for you to get some first-hand experience. All great accomplishments start with a firm grasp of the basics and basics, and go from there. Understood. So then, let's start with some simple, something simple. Okay. Shocking essence oil. Okay. That's easy enough. I'm moving. Shocking. There we go. I should have used a proper character for that. Talk to Timaeus. Yes, it's ready. Nice work. This is some bona fide uh, shocking essence oil, all right. Helps people channel electro, electro energy more easily. Now let me tell you what happens if you swap the frog for butterfly wings. It produces a powerful insulation potion, which protects the taker against electro shocking. Amazing, isn't it? The very same electro crystal can can, depending on the specific alchemical process used, produce two completely opposite effects. Go on, take this insulation potion and get a taste of what alchemy can really do. Okay, that was easy enough. Uh, now that I did that, do that. And I'm gonna go over here to the adventurers guild claim the adventurers uh, reward there uh, let's go all the way over to where I'm supposed to go now it's right next to that I'll go there I uh, heard that the next update is gonna allow us to possibly draw Zhongli Zhongli or however you say his name uh, from the wishes or whatever which will be interesting uh, I doubt I'll actually pull them but you know that's because I haven't been having any luck with other five stars yet feels like forever since then wow you're standing right next to one of those uh, giant enemies Ah, crap. How could I miss like that? Oh, I guess. Doesn't matter. I'll be using him for this fight anyways. We're here! This is it! Let's dig it up! This has to... Uh, 
It has to be the work of Dendro Slimes. It can't be! I put a sign here! There's no mistake! Ah! Dendro Slimes! Yep, Dendro Slimes. We could talk later! Let's take them out first! These things are annoying. The little guys in particular are very annoying. Uh, I'm not too worried about that little guy over there. The funny thing about him is, is that you set him on fire and they basically become useless. Okay, King or the big guy was a good idea. It. It's this box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Okay, that was stupidly easy. Felt kind of pointless. Uh, okay, go all the way back. I think uh, I'm also going to, aside from this quest here, uh, I'm going to do another one of the bounties on camera. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Not entirely sure yet if I want to. Oh. Thanks for Lynn. Okay. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Clee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful! Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Uh... Hey? Huh? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. <laughs> you used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> it's the book in your hand. <laughs> what? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Huh. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am, am I in trouble? Uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Uh, what a, a touching conclusion. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. <sighs> After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Uh... Too expensive? Too embarrassing? I'll go too embarrassing. Yes. How can I maintain a proper astrologist's mentality if I stay with all these Philistines? Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I... I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Uh, an intimidating resolution? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait, I don't even have a place to stay. About that, we can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah. Huh. Right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? Uh... 
Uh, of course. Oh, um, thanks. I. Never mind. It's nothing. Okay. A weird quest. Anyways. We. I don't know why I'm messing around like that. Just gotta make my way over to Catherine now. Sheesh, even now it's still not loaded. How long does it take to load this? Okay, I'll talk to her. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome uh, to the Adventurous Guild. About Mona's background and her quandary. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Oh, I know where that is. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. I think she can do it. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. I already know where it is. It's right over here. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea to actually have the little thing tell you, but still. Investigate. I was wondering what this was. The person who placed the seal is by no means simple. Breaking the seal by force is nigh on impossible. Oh, well, gee. I tried to break it by force before. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... And there we go. All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here. No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. Well, how thoughtful, game. You didn't force me to go back there just so I could get, like, one line of dialogue saying, Okay, you can use it now. <laughs> I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Oh boy, it's going to be expensive. Rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... Uh, this might be her best option. I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. As you said, this journey was all gain and no loss. Or, guess you've got to keep working at it then. I'll choose the top option. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate. And of the good kind, I'd say. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> as for me, I need to think of the future as well. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Okay. Oh, well, can I enter the building? Uh, oh, that was the end of that, uh, quest for now. Let me see if there are any new ones. Nope. I assume that some new ones will get added next month, but, uh, or, well, by the time this video is posted, it'll be December. Uh, 
So, okay, you can't enter. Wait a second. Can you? Yeah, you can enter. Rack it out. I'm doing experiments here. Oh, it's you. I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. Okay. Uh, well, I trust you then. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I heard something about an update that was gonna add one of the new regions, like Dragon Spine or something. Uh, so... Whenever that happens, it'll be interesting. Blanche. Uh, I'm actually gonna see her very fast to see if she has any kind of foods. Okay, there's just a ton of salt, pepper. I'm gonna buy some. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll do that later off camera. Uh, it's always a good idea to replenish your stock though on that stuff. Uh, one other thing I want to do is I want to do two of those, but I'll do that a little bit later. And instead, I'm going to do one of the reputation quests. I haven't done it, done any of the other two. I did one before. I could have done another, but I chose not to off camera. Instead, I waited. Uh, how's my reputation in Mondstadt? Bounties. Uh, I have one hour to do two of them. Oh boy. Uh, in that case, uh, it's invulnerable to cryo and electro. And takes increased hydro. Okay. Where is it? Where is it located? Game? Okay, down here. I guess I'll do both of those very fast. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have to. I thought I had another day. Uh, it turns out I was wrong about that. But it's no big deal. As long as I get uh, both of them done fast enough, then that's all that matters. Okay, I now have ten... Uh, Ten minutes to do what I need to do. And it's clearly all the way up here. Or at least I think it is. Yeah, it's this large and a uh, large fire in me. It had that little s glowing symbol above its uh, head, which indicates that you have to kill it. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay. Whoa, hey. They almost got me. There we go. It said that Cryo doesn't do much to the target. They'd be something or other. Okay, where's the next one? It's all the way... I can see it glowing from here. Uh, activate it again. Yep, it's that, uh, what do you call it down there? Drop down. Mint. Okay. And the last enemy, the last thing is that, uh, flower over there. I hate those things. Hello and goodbye. I think I took some damage somewhere along the way. See you, Luke. Thankfully. But why did it switch targets? I hate the targeting system in this game sometimes. It's like, I'm clearly targeting one enemy in particular. And the game just goes, nope, you're targeting this enemy regardless of whether or not you want to. Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. All the way back up there. I may as well teleport up there. I wonder if that'll mess anything up. 
Well, if it does, then I'll know. I'll find out very fast whether or not it messes anything up. Uh, is it, it's up there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that then. Because otherwise this climb would have been a little bit more painful. Uh, I'm assuming I can make it. Yeah, I can make it. I wasn't expecting to have to climb all the way up here. Where are you? No, you're, that's not it. Where? Where? It's saying this way. Now it's saying... This way. Now it's saying this way. Okay, now I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused right now. Where am I supposed to be going? He's inside the wall. He somehow... Okay, good. Thankfully, uh, it's not a big deal because I was able to do that, but still, that could have been really bad. Talk about a glitch. Not good. Okay, obviously I should be a little bit more careful about doing that last attack. Uh. Okay, please defeat him. Okay, almost, and I think he's gonna die in the next hit. Yeah. Whew, that was close. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't really that close, but the reason why I said that is because I was worried that whole time that it was going to suddenly respawn. And, you know, the fact that it glitched like that was very odd. I guess it didn't like me tele uh, yeah, teleporting or something. It probably was like, well, you teleported, so we're going to put the, the enemy in the middle of the uh, thing here. Anyways, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing uh, as the other one that I did. That was interesting. Check how my reputation is. Uh, do that. Claim rewards. Um, do the next one on the list, which is just a... Yeah, the, if the third one was a different type of thing, I would have probably done it. Okay, this one is especially fierce, but it takes increased cryo damage. I don't have a cryo character in my party, though, so it doesn't matter. I don't mind it being especially fierce. Okay, it's all the way up here. Start by teleporting there. Hopefully the things I'm supposed to pick up aren't at the very top of the hill. Like, they may may make you go to the very top of the hill and then down to the bottom and then back up to the top of the hill again or something crazy like that. Uh, let's see. Okay, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I can't believe I jinxed it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It won't take too long. I mean, I have 10 whole minutes, so. In the meantime, I will just make do with what I've, you know, got to make do with. Okay. It wants me to go up this way. Maybe it'll be mostly picking up stuff or something. 
Okay, that right there is a good sign. I just have to examine this. Investigate. They say the wooden shield is... Okay. Uh... Gotta go down this way now. Are you gonna tell, tell me that I'm literally having to go down to the bottom again? back up and then oh right here pick up this mushroom sometimes I wonder about how this thing works okay now I have to go over here somewhere what is it trying to say oh it's right there I think right no. Where? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, now where did the enemy appear? Don't tell me it's upward. It's back here, right? Yeah, there it is. Mr. Aggressive himself. Okay. Now I've done that. Well, it, it said that he was especially uh, ferocious or something. I don't know. Point. It doesn't matter since he's gonna die just like the rest of the hilly churls. And big guys. He doesn't seem all that different. Yeah, he's pretty much standard. Uh, yeah, very standard. Kind of a weak compare. Like I was expecting something a little bit more special than that. Not that I mind. I mean, I'm glad that. He wasn't super strong or something, but I'm still a little bit surprised that they would say that he's supposed to be something that he wasn't. Uh, anyways, now I'm going to turn that in. I'll have to also claim the BP reward on that. I'm glad I, that I did this. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do this stuff, uh... But, you know, because I'm not really a fan of the bounties, even though they give you a fair amount. Uh, reputation reward. I keep forgetting about the wings. I wonder what the wings do. It's just for show or whatever. Huh. I know that I do have in uh, my character select screen here. Let's see, uh, dressing room. I can select different wings. And I haven't really been doing that. As for why, I don't know. I mean, I could do that. Wings of Dissension. Uh, same for him, I guess. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm not gonna equip it on everybody. Uh, yeah, I'll check this out now. Claim this. 450, huh? I wonder... I only have one hour left to complete some of these, and obviously I'm not going to do that within uh, the hour. So... Oh well. Uh, okay. Now that I've done all that, I actually want to check one more thing here at the reputation. Uh, how's my reputation in Mondstadt? Monstack Quest. I wonder where I could get this one. I mean, it's a story quest, I think. Like, I would assume. So that makes me wonder. 
when I'm supposed to get it or how I'm supposed to get it. Whatever. I know that there are plenty of quests down here in this whole area, this whole mess. So I'm going to try to see if I can find some. Uh, let's start by going over to uh, this area. I'll just do a quick sweep very fast to see if there are any quests over here. If there are any quests after I check a couple areas, then what I'll do is, is I'll uh, do the next story quest. I mean, like, in the... Because I have one more in my book thing that I can do, but I've been holding off on doing it because I don't want to necessarily be out of quests to do uh, the next time I play. I think that there might be a quest in this area, though. Somewhere. I've ignored a lot of quests. I just, like, ran right by them. And as for why I did that, it's because I was thinking, oh, I can always get back to that later. Now I don't even remember where they're at, because I never marked them. Probably because I ran out of pins. I wonder what they were thinking when they made the limit on the amount of pins that you could have only, uh, only 99. That was kind of a dumb limit. There we are. I was right, there was a quest over here. I mean, I thought that there, were, there was, but... You know, it's hard to remember. Okay, let's talk to this guy, or this girl, Soraya. How many secrets does Liyue truly hold? Secrets? Oh, Traveler, it's you. The secrets I'm referring to are a set of inscriptions. This place we call uh, we are in is called Guili Assembly. According to Liyue folklore, it was once inhabited by people. In fact, it was, a, it was rather prosperous. But for various reasons, the whole place was wiped out. All that remains now is the countless ruins scattered across the landscape. Some stories put it down to the conflict between the gods, other people say it was a war between humans, and some sources talk of a sudden cat catastrophic natural disaster. Whatever the reason was, ruins are all that remain here now. The only ones who come here are the hilly churls, the treasure hoarders, and masochistic scholars like me, who in spite of all the risks, just can't risk the idea Resist the idea of how much research value these ruins have to, have to offer. Blah. In practice, though, scholars like me aren't actually cut out for this kind of field work. I've hardly covered any ground yet, and I already need to rest. The actual ruin exploring seems more of your area of expertise. What do you say? Fancy helping me out? Sure. Hmm. Uh, great. Hmm. But I should give you an idea of what to look for. Yes, keep your eyes peeled for stone pillars and stone tablets. Given how ancient these ruins are, any texts we can hope to find will be written on stone, not paper. After all, stone is the oldest and most durable medium for writing and written communication. Okay. And while I'm in this area, uh... I'll also grab a couple of things that I missed before. May as well defeat these guys very fast. I need to defeat some uh, treasure hoarders anyways. Uh, I think I've already fought this group of uh, treasure hoarders in the past. There's no treasure chests here. Let me see. I have a feeling that there will be something in this little area here, but I could be wrong. Before I go inside of there, I'm going to try to go up here. Yay, I can grab it. May as well do that then. What the? No. I'm trying to climb up this. Can I get all the way up top? Yes, I can. Is there any point? 
Probably not. I can sit up there. Let me see if sitting up there does anything. Nothing. Such a pointless mechanic. I don't understand what they were thinking. Whatever. Well, I'm gonna be dealing a lot of damage to this enemy first before. I... Uh, oh crap. No. Well, that kind of worked out. I don't understand why the game had to mess with me like that, though. What the? Well... He isn't really going to be able to reach me like this. Although the building should have been destroyed just now. What are you doing? Oh, come on. That was definitely center. That was definitely dead center. I feel like I have to aim slightly lower than dead center. Okay. Oh, I think I finally understand. I can't believe I didn't, never noticed that before. There's like those little things of light that uh, light up around the weak point. And I didn't notice them before because I was assuming that it was just as simple as hitting the center. But I think that you hit those and it causes the center to become the weak point? I don't know yet. But I'll have to test that out. Okay, obviously that wasn't it. Uh, there is another geoculus over here. It's not up in the sky, so it's down over here. Uh beneath the rubble, which works out for me. Interesting. On, oh, reveal thyself! Let the show begin! Okay. Okay, see those, uh, things? If I aim... If I aim for the one that's not lit up, or whatever, then I think it'll work. I don't know yet. I, these guys are becoming a bit of a pain in the butt, though. In my opinion. These guys gotta die. I hate to say it, but these guys gotta go. That's one of them gone. Not careless. Yeah. Thanks for helping, Matt. really help my situation at all. Grab that. Grab that. Okay, now that I've done that. There we go. Do that. Do that. Do that. I think I'm gonna win. Of course I'm gonna win. I don't even know why, but I think. Guess because... <laughs> oh, now he's gonna jump. Do that. And that should finish him off. Or just him off. There we go. I have access to the area down there. Hopefully, 
the area down here will have uh, my quest objective too. So far I don't see anything that suggests that my quest objective is down here, but it doesn't matter because I've got plenty to work with. That is to say that I'm getting plenty of treasure regardless. Investigate. Obtain those. Warren letter. I guess this is where greed gets you. When you when you want it all and you don't know when to stop. If I just called it a day when I'd found the buried treasure and hadn't insisted on going off to that stupid wishy-washy bonfire, I never would have triggered the mechanism and got myself trapped here by that awful monster. Now I can't get out. Anyone who uh, anyone who has got what it takes to take him down, go and make a wish at that bonfire. Any old thing will do. I'll help by uh, rooting for you, huh? Well, that sounds like he's telling me to go to my death. Uh, new quest. Oh, that's a new quest. Isn't it? Yeah, that's a different quest from this one. Because this is the one that I was doing just now, and that now it's telling me where to look. Good. Um, I think I got everything down here, didn't I? Unfortunately, I didn't read any of what Paimon said, but that's fine. That's par for the course, you know? Uh, oh, there's one of those uh, little tablets that they were talking about. It's fine. I'll just light up these torches. And once I light up all three torches, there might be a fourth one hidden somewhere. Just gotta wait a second. Okay, there's definitely a fourth one hidden somewhere. I just don't know where it is yet. Is it up there? Is it, oh, it's down here. I had a feeling I had to have created a square. I'm gonna grab this. And there we go. I wonder what's up with that lighting up. I guess it's gonna stay lit up now. Okay, I'm gonna examine this. Investigate. Huh, there's some writing here. Come, let's take a look. Uh, transcription from the stone tablet. I guess I'll check it out in the... Is this it? Yeah, read. Then another god descended, whose dominion was over Geo, and who brought the people of Liyue to this, to this place. Gently, they shepherded the people for their protection. Okay. Now let's check in here. You never know, there could be something hidden away in here. I doubt it, but... Well, there is something in there. But I think it's more for a commission type thing than anything. Uh, well, it says start. So I may as well start. I don't know what this is for. It doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna... Beat up all these enemies anyways. I don't see any kind of timer. Which means that it's not a big deal. I don't really have to finish this in a certain amount of time or anything. Okay. Yeah, electric ones are far worse than the other types. As far as archers are concerned. Actually, no, that's not true. Ice, ice types are the worst. Followed by electric. Uh, the reason why electric are so annoying though is because they deal a lot of damage and they stun you. And hopefully that'll get rid of those two. Yep, it did. Now this guy is about to kill. I wasn't expecting that. 
And that guy's gone. Now this guy is all that's left. Although, being in close quarters with him while he's doing that kind of thing is not fun. Thankfully, he's pretty weak. And there we go. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad I'm doing some of this stuff now. Just grab as much of this stuff as I can. So I've got a second quest in this area that I'm glad I got because I didn't even know that it was uh, there before. No, that thing from the note. Um, just gotta keep looking for those tablets. Wherever the tablets might be. I have a feeling that there's gonna be some tablets in the area that's behind me where I saw those enemies walking around. I wanna search over here very fast. Just to make sure that I rule out any possibilities. You never know. I gotta do something. There we go. Okay, there's another tablet. I saw this tablet before when I came through this area before I got the quest. And I was wondering, what is this tablet for? Uh, found some writing. Let's make a copy. Uh, let's see what it says. The god laid down four commandments for the people. Okay. Uh, and I think I already went down here, right? Yeah. And let's go all the way over here. I think that that's a dead end right there. Uh, as far as this quest is concerned. So, just got to keep looking over in this general area. Okay, there's another. And there are two unlit things, so... And there's no point in lighting them. Looks like there's some writing here, blah blah blah. A god named Guizong descended, whose dominion over was over dust, and whose reach shrouded the skies for thousands of miles around. Okay. Uh, now that I think about it, isn't this area named Guizong or something? Where where did I see that at? I could have swore I saw an area named Guizong. Am I crazy? There's the Guyan Stone Forest. Uh, no? Huh, that's weird. Why did I think I saw an area that said that? Oh well. Doesn't matter. And... Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. There's another one right over here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're not hitting me with that thing again. I've been hit by that attack enough times. Look. Have a little taste. That tingle? I hate... I hate these guys. The one that said that say that. Oh crap! Not good. That tingle? Eh, uh, you can stop doing that. And there's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You picked the wrong test subject, and you don't even what? Oh great. Doesn't matter. I prefer fighting up here, guys. And there we go. I prefer to reset my uh, combo before it ends against guys like that. Investigate. Uh, okay. I only need one more. In the beginning, when the people assembled to farm the land. Okay. Now I just need one more, wherever it might be. I'm not entirely sure where it could be yet, but I have a feeling it's more likely over here somewhere. Huh. 
I mean, there are only so many places it could be. I already checked that one. And I think I already got the one that's over here. Somewhere over here. Maybe there's one behind this wall? No? I know that there was a treasure chest that was hidden like that over here somewhere. It was very clever. Could it be true? What oh. I heard. Okay, better make sure to check around this as well. Just to be on the safe side. Check the top of these two just in case. Also keep an eye out for any arrows that I might see poking up above anything. The only problem with stuff like this is that uh, once you start finding everything, they don't shrink the circle down, so you still gotta search that wide open area that you first were told to look in. Um, I already got that one. Actually, this is a good idea. I'm gonna go up to the top center of this. Okay. Climb all the way up here. I hope that there wasn't one inside of this building. Okay, I already got that one. And... I got one somewhere over there. I got one right over there, too. And there. I so still have a lot to do with the guild. How about you take a rest any kind while I of, go back? I wonder if there's any kind of like pattern to them. Because there's one there, and one there, and then one there, and I don't know where else the other one is. I know it's over there somewhere. Or over there somewhere. Hmm. I'm gonna check over here again. Wait, there it is. This is the one that I did before already? Yeah. So I did this one. That means that there should be one over here. Am, am I crazy? Because I could swear that there should be one over here. Yeah, I know. I'm making sure that there isn't one that's like barely outside the boundaries. For this stupid quest. I call any quest that I can't finish immediately stupid. I don't know why. Okay. I think the biggest issue is just that there's no real direction on this. It's just search this wide area. And quests like that always irritate me. Better make sure there isn't anything in the center here. Maybe there. it could be at the top of this little thing up here, or at the top of one of these things around here, you never know. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. No, that's not it. Could it be over here somewhere? No, I already checked that area thoroughly. So far I've noticed that they tend to be at the, like around the perimeter. Oh, look at this boxes I never destroyed. I think I found it on the opposite side of this wall here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And there's even a puzzle. I'll solve that very fast. There's some writing on the stone tablet. And may as well read this as well. And the assembly was named Gu Guili uh, after the names of the two gods. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to switch to this. Ah, crap. And one more. May as well get that stuff whenever I can. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go over to Soraya. Give her what she wants. And hopefully that'll be the end of the quest. And then I can go on to the next one.
You never know, though. Some quests can last longer than you think. Uh, where is she? Oh, behind this wall. Okay, hello, Soraya. Find anything in the ruins? I found five stone tablets. Great, let's see. Ugh, these are all over the place. Let me see if I can work out the right order. Hmm, there's a lot of missing text here. So it's quite disjointed. Also, I'm still not sure on the order. But anyway, this is my best guess. If I line it up like this, it reads as follows. In the beginning, when the people assembled to farm the land, a god named Buizong descended, whose dominion was over dust, and his reach shrouded the skies for thousands of miles around. A god laid down four commandments for the people. Then another god descended, whose dominion was over Geo, and uh, who brought the people of Liyue to this place. Jointly, they shepherded the people for their protection. And they, the assembly was named Guili, Gui after the names of the two gods. Okay. It seems to be about the history of the Guili assembly, assembly, black, and of a god with power over dust who watched over this place. But it also mentions another god who came here at some point and even brought some of their people with them. Also, it seems to be saying that the name Guili, as in Guili assembly, uh, came about by taking one syllable each from the names of these two gods. How fascinating. In the documents I've read, I've read, ever read, blah. In the documents I've ever read, in all of the documents I've read, sorry, I've never come across any mention of the two gods who had coexisted peacefully, let alone who actively worked together. It seems they were more than just two allied gods, they were best friends. But what happened to them? They can't have just disappeared. And how uh, was the Guili assembly laid to waste so completely? With two gods watching over it, no, de no disaster should have ever been quite so devastating, natural or otherwise. Which means that whatever happened was beyond even the gods' power to withstand. Traveler, could you keep looking for more clues? Unless I'm mistaken, there should be more stone tablets around here, just like the ones you've seen already. Maybe they will tell the story of what happened next. That which is recorded on these stone tablets seems to differ in some places from those in some documents. So, I, so many legends, so many tellings, which of these is the truth, I wonder. Okay, so they want me to find two more. Uh, and it's quite a ways away, too. The reason I keep on, uh stumbling over what I'm saying because I first of all it's hard to read it when the white text is on a background that kind of makes it blend in and then on top of that some of the names I can't pronounce correctly like I don't know if I'm pronouncing Gwili correctly or not uh, so I just say it however I can and then I end up having trouble reading off what it's being said because of that. I'm thinking too much about what I'm saying. Uh, if I knew what the pro proper pronunciation was as well as was you, if I was used to actually saying it, then it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, hopefully I can drop in from above on this. Are you decree here to play with me? I don't like these guys. I hate these guys because of uh Oh crap. She summoned them. Oh well. At least I'll be able to keep her stun locked now. And she's dead. Now I've got one more group of enemies to deal with. These guys, I don't like them. Retribution. Thankfully, they're mostly easy to deal with. There we go. Investigate. Hey, there's some writing on the plate, but it's barely readable. Paimon feels like it might have some special meaning. Well, gee, Paimon, thank you. What? 
The game froze? Okay. Uh, okay, it's not gonna say anything else. And then the game froze again. As I guess it wants Paimon to be put away. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm gonna need to... Yeah, do this. I need to be able to get, get in there. And there's only so many ways to get in there. I'm gonna defeat this guy. I need some sharp arrowheads anyways. I have a feeling that that's what this guy is gonna drop. No? Just firm arrow arrowheads or whatever is black. Okay. I'll grab my well never mind. What? I call shenanigans. Whatever. I guess uh the tornado doesn't capture these guys. I don't know why. They don't seem like the kind of enemy that would be able to resist being pulled in by it. If anything, they seem like they'd be the most susceptible. You know, things that fly in the air should be a little bit more susceptible to stuff like that. I'll have to go up there in a second. There's so much writing on the stone tablet. Okay, I'll wait a second. Uh, I'll go up here, interact with this guy. Follow him over to where he's leading me to. Oh, come on. It's all because I tried to go on that. Hopefully, the area that it's leading me to isn't too far away. Okay, it's just right there. Okay. Oh boy, I hate treasure chests that are up on ledges like this. For the very reason that some, some of it will fall off. There we go. Okay, now it's time to go over to the other area. I think I got most of the stuff that I could get in that area. And even if I couldn't, now I'm still okay. I'm going to use this little puzzle up here as a means of getting over to where I want to go very fast. Because it's heading in the general direction, I think. Or it's not, but that's fine. Wow, that was crazy. The momentum uh, caused me to roll. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this very fast. And then this to heal up Dealer. Dealer could take in some damage. I didn't even notice. Uh, look at that, another puzzle. I wonder if I should pick it up. You know what? I'll pick it up. I'll see if I can solve it very fast. Oh, of course. Um, it's going near those two flower enemies. I'm going to try to solve the puzzle, and if they follow me, then great. If not, then oh well. I mean, okay, they weren't going to follow me. No big deal. Probably for the best anyways. I didn't really want to fight him. Now that I've done that, I can finally focus on the next part of this. It's over there. So I'm going to go to this little camp area above. It was actually next to a teleportation thing. I could have teleported there. I wasn't thinking about that. I've already looted this area. I think I looted that area when I uh, came through once but Ooh. Okay, for some reason I thought that was different from, uh... It was different from what I was expecting. I feel like that. Okay. I'm not really a fan of, uh, whichever one is freezing me. Ah, uh, I hate it. I hate the water type in particular. 
Like, I can stand the, the fire types because, well, the fire types are actually the best opponents. As far as abyss uh, mages are concerned. Because the only thing that they can do is deal damage. The, uh, what do you call it, types, the ice types, they're the most annoying in terms of, uh, the status that they can inflict on you, which is, you know, freezing status, but the thing that's nice about them comparatively to the water type is that the, what do you call it type, the ice type, cryo type or whatever, doesn't, uh, you know, it's very easy for me to kill with dealing. Whereas the water type, I'm not really able to kill him very easily. Uh, anyways, I'm going to read the next parts of these notes. And there they fought upon the Guili Plains, where black dust choked the heavens and the thousand rocks splintered. Guizong's four commandments are teach with wisdom, be bound by virtue, fortify the bones, unite in ambition. The convergence of these four shall be known as the Guili Assembly. One cannot, uh, one can bear not to leave one's native land. A treasure lies in Guili, and Guizong's four commandments shall guide those in generations to come who aspire to find it, if they would test themselves against the four. Like, and I'm gonna ignore this guy and that guy. Just gonna make my way over here. Pick this while I'm at it, because who knows? Okay. I thought maybe a treasure chest might appear. But yeah, I don't really have an effective way to defeat the the water type abyss mages. Even with electric, it doesn't really do much. Could it be true? What I've heard. Ah, you're back. I was starting to wonder how much longer I'd have to wait. Found anything? Two more stone tablets. Oh, let me see. And they fought upon the Guili Plain, where the black dust choked the heavens and a, rock, and a thousand rocks splintered. Oh my, it appears to be saying that a battle once took place on the Guili Plains, and, enorm and an enormous battle at that. That must have been the battle in which the Guili Assembly fell. But as for this other passage, it seems to be written by someone who couldn't bring themselves to leave their home. So they stayed here, and what's more, there's treasure. Clearly you have a fondness for, a fondness for treasure, but you're not wrong. There is indeed treasure in the Guili Plains, if this passage is to be taken, taken literally. But then we have Guizong's Four Commandments, shall, follow, uh, shall guide those in generations to come who aspire to find it, find it black. Followed by, Teach me with wisdom, be bound by virtue, fortify thy bones, unite in ambition. The convergence of these four shall be known as the Guili Assembly. How does one decipher that? I wouldn't know where to start. Let's head back to Wang Shu I think we all need some. Uh, I think we all need some downtime before we try to tackle the riddle of Guizong's Four Commandments. Oh, is it going to teleport me there? No. Okay, the quest is completed for now. Uh, but it wants me to still go to the inn because I have another thing that I can do there. Let me see something. I have a reputation reward. Uh, I will teleport there now. May as well do the next part. And wait a second. Wasn't there another quest in that area? Yeah, there was. The stupid bonfire thing. I should have done that. Oh, well. I'll see this one through to completion. I'll go back for the bonfire thing. Uh, I'm a little bit irritated with myself that I didn't think to check my quest book a little bit more. Oh well. Oh, it teleported me right next door. Hey, Soraya. Guizong's Four Commandments. What are they really trying to tell us? I'm ready. Haha, -ha, raring to go. That's why I like to see. Then let's begin our reading of Guizong's Four Commandments. Uh, teach with wisdom, be bound by virtue, fortify thy bones. United Ambition, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read all that again. On the surface, it does read like a set of commandments, golden rules for life. But it's also supposed to contain some sort of clues to a hidden treasure. 
I can't decipher it, though. It seems we'll have to approach this in what academics like to call the old-fashioned way. The seven passages we found previous previously, they were all located in ruins of some sort. Since we're not sure where to start this time, perhaps keep searching in ruins for now. Where exactly? Hmm, for now, let's limit the search area to Gwili Plains. However, I, as I'm just a scholar, there's no way I'd be able to keep up with the out in the field. So I will leave the actual ruin searching to you. Just let me know what you find. While we're on the subject, I once came across a strange plate with some writing on it in one of the, in the, in one of the ruins around here. Black. I only looked at I only looked at it in isolation though. Didn't do any sort of holistic analysis. Now I think about it, uh, it might be connected to Guizong's four commandments. How about I mark the location on your map? You should go check it out. Maybe it'll lead somewhere. Okay. And it's all the way over here. Oh, I'll teleport right here. Marijabari. I wonder where that's located. I know that that one guy, uh, Stanley, who, the guy who was pretending to be Stanley, rather, uh, was bragging about going there. I mean, he really did go there. It's just, yeah, very weird quest line as well. Not that I mind. A lot of this stuff is just meant to build the world even more. Okay. Gotta make my way up. I might grab some of the treasure chests in this area as well. I don't know for sure yet. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Somehow I'm supposed to get in there. Okay. Obviously I need to take advantage of this guy. Come on, man. Oh well. Obviously I did it wrong. I was gonna float in there, but obviously I didn't float. The thing ran out finally. I'm gonna have to find a different way to get in there. Come on, man. It has a sliver of health left. Okay, it just killing them all just resulted in it going down. That works too. Start. The United Vision is to be steadfast and, un and immovable at all times. This looks like the kind of place where I was hoping to find. Uh, if she's right, there should be three more of these around here. We'd better keep looking. Is that all you have to say, Paimon? Okay. I'm gonna check out what the note said. Okay. Now that I've done that, is there anywhere else that's really obvious? No? I guess I've just gotta head back the way I came, huh? I don't have any idea. I don't know why they would give you a quest like this and make it so vague. Unless there was... Unless there was somewhere else that I was supposed to go. Maybe this over here? Huh. I'll teleport there for now. Maybe I'll find it over here instead. In all honesty, it's this is one of those quests that make you question what they were thinking when they developed the, the quest line. Yeah, it, there's such a thing as... Uh, 
Okay, I accidentally activated this quest. And I didn't mean to. But that's fine. Uh, I can't believe I accidentally activated this, uh, this is the bonfire quest right here. And I didn't even know that the bonfire quest would actually start all the way over in this area. This is way far away from the area that I was in before. Oh well. Doesn't matter. All that matters is that I can, uh, at least do this. Okay. Ah, no! Okay, I'm gonna go over here and hopefully keep away from that edge. These guys are annoying. These guys that throw stuff at you. It isn't just the fact that they throw stuff at you, it's the stuff that they say on top of everything else. And now I'm dealing with this. Great. Yeah, I'm not really wanting to mess with you right now, buddy. Did the treasure hoarder drop something over there? I don't know yet. I've got to deal with this guy. I literally just saw him do 4, 000, uh, almost 5,000 points of damage in a single hit. And I'll just take advantage of this wall here. There's no way for the enemy to get to me. I'll pick up that scribble down in a second. There we go. Okay. So, scribble notes. This whole world, uh, this whole thing about the bonfire granting wishes is utter nonsense. Though the treasures buried underneath are genuine. Boss said I should leave the slip of paper where I found it and just wait nearby. People are ba bound to fall for it, and as soon as the fire lights up, hee <laughs> hee. A very lucrative stroke of genius, this one. That said, there's more treasure here than I can move in all, all in one go. Boss said I should first bury it on the highest peak of Kui Ju Slope. Uh, there's a big old withered tree on top of the mountain. I'm sure she can't miss it. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess there's nothing else there. That said, I don't think that there's any more... M I don't know where to look for, uh, the next part of this other quest. Because, you know, there's only so many ruins that I can search in this place, and it's kind of a large place, you know? There's a lot of ruins. I say that there are only so many, but in some ways, there are too many. And there isn't enough uh, time for me to explore it all. It's kind of irritating. What, what's this? I saw something. What did I see? That was weird. It was like it wanted me to interact with something that wasn't there. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. I don't know where it... Wait a second. Are you... Are you joking with me? Okay, this game... 
is joking with me right now. I, I wish I could laugh, but I've got to read the stupid note again. I assumed that the game wouldn't leave me out to try like that, but someone's diary. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be reading that anytime soon. I haven't read any of the other books, really. Okay. Here, read this stupid note again. Uh... Highest peak of Puigis. Okay. So I've got to go to the highest peak. Which is this right here, I believe. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna teleport there. Oh boy. Talk about weird quests. Very, very weird quests. Yeah, just because you tell me to search the ruins game doesn't mean that I'm going to know exactly which ruins you're talking about. And I know that it says in the Guizong or Guili Plains or whatever, but it doesn't change the fact that that's not always very helpful. I guess you could say I'm getting irritated because of a lack of direction. I don't need the game to hold my hand. I just don't want it to to be so vague that I feel like I have to resort to a guide just to be able to do it. Oh, come on. Don't run down. Don't run out of stamina. Thankfully, I can uh, go up this way. And this does really seem like the highest spot, so like that. And I should be able to make my way up the rest of the way. This must be Kuiji Slope or whatever. Kuiju Slope. Treasure here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Oh, look at this. Dig. And press the treasure chest. Collect all this. That was all? Wait a second. Is that quest done? Was that really it? Well, gee. Okay. Uh, now for this this part. I honestly don't know what to say about this. It doesn't seem like uh, I'll be able to do this particular quest in this area yet. I mean, I'll 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 teleport here. I'll try searching a little bit more in this area. Who knows? Maybe I'll find something. I mean, if I find anything at all, that's better than, you know, it gives me an idea. Because then I'll have an idea of, like, how far out I'm supposed to go. And then I can start narrowing down the search from there. But if I don't have any idea at all, if I can't find a single thing, then it's kind of like that one quest, the, the Chew of Guyan or something like that, whatever it was called. Chi of Guyan. I mean, that one right there was the most irritating to me. Just because of the fact that I felt like... Oh wait, I've already been in this area. Yeah, I've already explored this area quite thoroughly. Hmm. Well, it looks like there's, there's uh, this over here. So let's see what's going on with this. I don't want to activate that guy. Investigate. This mechanism won't activate. Maybe it takes some sort of special approach. Uh, yeah, probably. Let me see. I'm hoping that this special approach involves those rocks that you're supposed to break. That or maybe it's these guys. Maybe I'm supposed to get rid of these guys. Nothing? Interesting. So, I don't know. That's weird. I imagine it drains the water out and then I can access something over here. But that wouldn't be related to the quest that I'm currently doing, which is kind of the point of searching. 
Let me see. Oh! Oh, 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 there it is. It's over here. All I had to do was look a little bit closer at the map. I'm gonna have to fight some uh, treasure hoarders, but that's no big deal. Another test subject. I, I actually did have something that I could use as a visual cue. I'd rather not suffocate. Okay, that's just annoying. Suffocate! Freeze! Thankfully, I was able to do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get to you in a second, buddy, you're gonna wish that you hadn't been doing all that. Will he die? No. I'm gonna get that. Grab this. Hopefully the other guy's loot dropped off up here somewhere. I don't know if I grabbed it or not. Wait, there it is. So I didn't grab it. Uh, one last on, thing before I it. activate this. Start. Wisdom is like water and nourishes all those who receive it and is in reflection of the truth. It's one of those lines from the Four Commandments. Two down, two to go. Okay, good. I can use the map as a way to see. This is the next one right there. I'm glad I figured that out. I would have been extremely irritated if I couldn't figure that out without a guide. I mean, I don't mind using guides. I just don't want to use guides if I can avoid it. And so far in this game, really, uh, the only time I've ever had to use guides is when it was for something. It, like the Chi of Guyan one, I had to use a guide for that because I didn't understand what was going on. And I still haven't even completed it because of uh, how ridiculous. I was in this area and I was actually, I didn't search this area right over here. I kind of feel a little bit upset with myself now. Disappear. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and thankfully that is going to be easy enough to beat. <laughs> And once the abyss mages get locked into attacks like that, they're pretty much dead. But the virtue grows tall like a tree, though there be shade, it will flourish forever. Uh, okay. Just one more now. What do you think we'll discover? Okay. It's right there, I believe. I've got this one, that one, and that one. So I'll go and do this one now. It's funny because I actually thought of teleporting over to this teleportation point that I just went to. Uh, but I changed my mind earlier. Mainly because of the, uh, the fact that I stumbled across the other quest by accident. Okay. Now that I've done that, I can finally... Well, there's going to be a fight no matter what. I know there's going to be a fight. Start. Fortify thy bones, that movement be supple when the time comes. Okay, that's a weird thing anyways. Four runes, four commandments, that's got to be all of them. Feels like we didn't make any huge discoveries though. Oh well, let's get back to Soraya. Maybe we'll she'll see something we don't. Yeah. All the way back over to her. Uh, teleport point. Uh, let's check out. Once I think this quest ends, I'll probably stop right here for now. 
which is a shame because, uh, you know, this quest hasn't been all that interesting, but at least I can always pick up the next quest a little bit later. The, uh, what do you call it, quest? Story one. What, what is it called? Wait, no, not that. I want to just check it in the across the sea. I haven't, I've been holding back on that. And it's the last one amongst all these uh, that I have here. Wait a second. It's one involving him, huh? Okay, talk to her. Sometimes fate is inescapable, even for a god. I found four clues in four runes. Four runes, four clues, and there are four commandments. Each of these clues expounds upon the meaning of one of the four commandments. To get to the correct interpretation, the original text of Guizan's Four Commandments is the key. These four are helpful, but, perif but peripheral to our inquiry. These five passages are all linked, but how? Convergence. Hmm, could convergence mean these four things all link up in some way? Wait, I remember each of Guizan's Four Commandments can be found in a specific ruin. Hmm, I am speculating here, but perhaps the four ruins are relevant to deciphering the true meaning of Guizan's Four Commandments. How exactly, I don't know. I need to mull it over. Maybe you could have time to think too, or better still, go investigate it firsthand. I'm just a skinny little scholar. After all, I tire out completely after a few seconds on the run. I wish I had your stamina. Anyway, I'm going to, con I'm going to keep thinking about it for a while. If you think of anything, or if you find anything, you know where I am. Okay. Investigate the final ruin. And it won't tell me where the final ruin is. But that's fine, because I have a feeling that I know where it is. I think it's this right here. I think I was there already. Wait a second. Am I right about that? I better make sure. Because... It could be one of these type of symbols again. No, I think that is it. I'll check it out. It doesn't hurt to check it out. I mean, after all, I'm probably going to end up fighting all those, uh... Those ruin guard things that I saw there. Which will be interesting. If that's really the case. I kind of wish that they gave you a little bit more to go off of than go explore some more ruins. I mean, the game is big. Really, really big. Oh well. Maybe examining all those other things will do that. Yeah, it says start uh, clue mechanism. Uh, yep. Yep, not surprising. Okay, so this is both not as bad as it could be. And at the same time, even worse than I could have ever imagined. Because all these are levels. Okay, well, actually, no, I thought they were. I thought that they were higher level than that. Okay, great. There's the second one. And then I have that stupid archer in the background. Like, leave me alone! Okay. Do that. Do this. Now that I've done that. Oh, crap. The fact that they don't hit their own people irritates me the most. Oh well. This guy's gotta die. And he's about to die. Come on, man. There we 
go. There's one. Do that. Jeez, the game is lagging out and stuff, so it's hard to see what's going on. Once I get another one out, then it'll be a fairly simple matter. Oh, this is lovely. I'm trapped between the two of them. And then there's this guy. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why do you insist on getting involved? That was way more annoying than it had to be because of those stupid archers. Yay! Treasure! For some reason, I didn't see the treasure chest at the bottom there. Okay. Before, I actually thought that I had to, like, find rock things to light these up. Oh, look at that. Treasure that I missed. Damaged mask, but still. Loot. Okay. Collect all this. Oh, uh, is this the treasure? We should go tell Soraya. Uh, collect this. Seems kind of... Kind of pointless. Huh. Wait a second. What's up with that? Uh... I'm not really a fan of how that gets left behind like that. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll go all the way back up here to uh, this teleport waypoint. And then I believe that'll be the end of this quest. At least I got quite a bit done. Uh... I completed the one-story quest with Mona, and I mean it was already almost done anyways. And then I uh, started doing other quests in this area. I ended up getting essentially like three or four quests. It was quite a few quests. Hey Soraya, how's the search going? Found the treasure yet? Yes, it is. It was about where they converge. After all, really. So it's just like Guizong's four command that says, the treasure was located at the convergence of these four. Whoever designed this riddle must have truly revered Guizong. So much so that they preserved Guizong's four commandments for future generations, even though the Guili assembly was wiped out. As for the Guizong herself, who established her commandments, she must have been adored by her people. 
Clearly, she wished for her people to be wise, to hold themselves to a moral code, code, to be strong and healthy, and to find solidarity in the shared enterprise of protecting their home, the Glealy Assembly. Uh, she seems like a gentle-natured god, but she failed. I wish I could meet her. Uh, none of these options are really... I guess I'll choose the middle. I'm not so sure gentle-natured is a particularly common trait of gods. But maybe it once was, uh, maybe it was once, maybe a long, long time ago, among the gods who led the peoples of the world, there were those gentle by nature. Those who protected their people walked among them, stood by them as they went forth into the world. But it was the gentle gods who were ultimately powerless to protect their people. Look at Guizan. It took an elaborate treasure hunt just to preserve the four commandments that were once the lifeblood of a whole civilization. Haha, uh -huh. well, to me at least, it's clear that the commandments are the real treasure here. A chest full of gold or gems can't compare. But if you made people choose, how many would really pick the list of commandments over material wealth? Okay. Interesting. I'll just hear the story of Python Edie, okay? There are quite a few things that I still have to do in uh, both Mondstadt and Liyue, obviously. Oh, I can make another wish. I better do that. I'm, let me see. I think I can make another wish. Yeah, I can make another wish. Let's see. Will this be the time I finally actually get lucky? No. Although the game did freak out because of how fast I skipped the animation on that one. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna go all the way down to Liyue. In particular, I'm gonna be going to the Reputation and Adventure, the Adventures Guild first and then the Reputation place. And then I'll call it, uh, quits for now. Hopefully... I will be able to find some more stuff to do. I'll I'll do the uh, what do you call it quest, the one that requires me to go out to sea or whatever. It said I think that's what it said. The name implies as much, anyways. I'll check it in the quest book here very fast. Across the sea. Ask the Millilith about the situation. And I think that the Millilith that they want me to talk to. That was weird. Uh, I think that the Millilith that they want me to talk, talk to is somewhere here. In... What? Where is it? Oh, over here. Okay. So. I'll probably be doing that next time. In fact, I'll even teleport over there after I do these two things. So that way I'm near it. Add uh, Astra Abyssosk. Look. And claim adventure rank rewards. I'm now adventure rank 44. Oh, I can make another wish too. Uh, but I won't be making another wish just yet with that because of... Uh, what do you call it? I'm getting close to probably getting a guaranteed 5-star, and I don't want it to give me a guaranteed 5-star weapon. Uh, just because those are so much less reliable in terms of what kind of weapon you'll get. Like, I got a spear before, and I'd probably be very upset if I got another spear. Uh, hello there, the Ministry of Civil Affairs, blah blah blah, how's my reputation? Um, VOA quest, claim... Claim and claim. And I don't think that I have any other rewards that I can claim here for now. Which is a shame. Uh, now that I think about it, if I had done the bounties here in Liyue, I would have been able to gain EXP in Liyue. But I'm mainly interested in getting the, uh, what do you call it, the teleporter thing. So that way I can start setting my own teleports. Okay, now one last thing to do, which is teleport over here. 
and if you know it might like do the next part of the st uh, the quest automatically since I'm gonna be teleporting near there. Uh, I don't know yet, but I figure if it does, then it does, and if it doesn't, then it won't. Actually, that will be a good thing if it doesn't. Okay, it's right down there. I just got to talk to that guy. Um, thank you very much for watching. And like I said, next time I'm going to be doing this quest. Uh, bye bye